hi guys welcome back to my video sorry welcome back to my channel <laughs> this is a new video um so today we're going into the fun of the process of making my spring summer wardrobe i'm so excited um today i'm going fabric shopping i just woke up well i didn't just wake up but i just finished get whoa <laughs> i'm talking fast i finished getting ready um so this is what i'm wearing today um you'll see a full version later when i'm walking but this is my outfit i'm about to go catch the train to go to the city i'm going to the garment district to get some fabric um i'm gonna get enough fabric so that i can make um at least two of the outfits so far so i'm gonna explain to you guys later which ones i decide to pick um i know the first one i'm definitely making is the pink dress and then i'll explain to you what the second one will be but I'm very excited. Um, I'm gonna just take you guys along with me um, as I get my fabric and as I'm like looking and how I decide which ones I like and stuff like that. Um, it's gonna be super fun. <clears throat> and then I'll do like a fabric haul later like when I get home so you guys can like see it. Um, and I can like touch more on the project and stuff like that. And yeah that's what this video is gonna be yeah today's just like a short little shopping fabric shopping day vlog <laughs> um so yeah let's go because i'm gonna miss my trains so i need to get on the move so let's go Okay, so we're back home. Some of my other plans changed, but it's okay. So I did get fabric. Um, I didn't film as much when I was in New York because, um, one, my bag was like super heavy, and two, um, they don't really like you filming in the fabric stores, and I forgot about that. So when I do like show myself going into the stores and stuff, I'm probably gonna more so do like stuff on my phone and do voiceovers and do it as like shorts but I'm still gonna talk about the fabric I'm super excited um I only got enough to make well so the okay let's start from the beginning <laughs> so the designs I decided to start with are let me get my iPad <coughs> okay so I'm starting with Wait a minute, what am I starting with? Okay, never mind. So, this is what we're starting with. <laughs> um, I'm starting with this dress, um, and then this top right here was what I could afford to get right now. Um, and I think they're two really like cute tops that I could start with. Um, so I'm really excited for this fat um this dress right here Oop, focus there we go for this dress right here i knew that i wanted it to be jersey because for that dress when i usually make it it's like nice and stretchy and stuff like that honestly i actually was inspired by this top when i designed that dress originally um so it's basically gonna be like this top and then like if a skirt was attached and it'll be like a nice like flowy dress so I'm really excited about it um 
So the fabric I got for it is this four-way stretch um, jersey. Ooh, they folded it. It's sort of weird, but this is what I got. It's super soft and it's breathable. Um, it's not like super heavy. It's like a nice like I would call it like a watermelon pink. It has a nice drape to it. And what I was thinking, because when I saw this fabric, I was like, ooh, this would be so cute. So I'm thinking I got this fabric as well. And this is like a chiffon. And it has um, a print on it, which is like really nice. But I was thinking, what if... It's like an overlay, so it'll be like this, and the dress will like have this as like a little like overlay. I feel like that will be like really really cute. So I think that's what I'm gonna go for. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add it to like the top pieces as well. I feel like, mm, I feel like maybe just the skirt and the sleeves, and then like leave this part this color. But we'll see how it all looks. But I think that would be like a really nice summery dress. So that's my first one. And then I got this green fabric because I'm making a sample of it. So this is going to be the sample dress. It's the same fabric, just in green. It's the same color as like that top you guys see me wear on Instagram a lot. <laughs> and in my shorts and my reels. Um, so I'll have it in this green too, so it'll be really cute. So I got that. And then we went to another fabric store. I'm going to link the fabric stores I went to below because every time I go to the garment district, um, I always get, I always go to the same stores usually. So like the people know me, sort of. Um, so I'm going to like comment in the description the names of the fabric stores that I go to it's usually I usually stay on like 38th and 39th um and then I go to like Pacific Trimming which I think is on 38th or 36th I think it's 38th but yeah I usually stay between those two streets because they have a lot of fabric stores but I always usually go to the same ones it's usually like fabrics well fabric express day and day um what's the other one moon fabrics um pacific trimming obviously uh, what was this one chick fabrics or um i think i said that wrong i think it's like chic fabrics <laughs> um but yeah those are like the fabric stores i normally go to when i go to new york um and they know me or I know them at least, but I'm pretty sure they remember me because I go there pretty often. And I'm going to start going more since I'm back. Um, but yeah, moving on. So, then for the top, which I just showed you, on my iPad, I got for this top. Focus. Focus. There we go. For that orange top. What I'm thinking, this really nice um, silk rayon, um, it has some stretch to it. Really nice and a nice shine. It's not as like bright as the camera's showing. It's like a good color that I like will make my skin pop. <laughs> it's actually the same color as the, the long dress that I drew, so I might even end up going back and getting the same fabric. But anyway, this and I got this fabric because it was so pretty. I was like, bro, I cannot leave without this. It's like um, this print as well and it's also see-through. So I was thinking of like putting it on top and like if you can get my vision, like that little like side asymmetrical top, it would be so cute. And what I'm also thinking is that 
So I'm gonna put up like a drawing on the screen, but what I was thinking is like for the top, this side right here, if it's like, um, what's the word? Lace up, so it's like lace up on the side, so like you lace it up right there. And they'll have a little like peekaboo with like the skin just a little bit. I feel like that'd be really cute of like a way to um like as a closure for the top to get in and out of. Cause I love lace ups. So I also have silver eyelets I think I'm gonna use because I feel like silver would be good. I'm trying to figure out if silver or gold would be better. I feel like silver. Comment below what you guys think if silver or gold would be better for this top. I feel like silver. What do you guys think? For the dress, it's jersey, so it's like, I don't need a closure. But I got elastic that's the same color, so it'll look nice. And yeah, I'm really excited. I got um, my elastic, my cording. This is the cording I'm going to use to lace up the top. Then some elastic when I'm making the dresses to make it bunch like this and this. So yeah, it's going to be a really cute project. Um... I know a lot of people also, like just to talk about fabric a little bit more, I know a lot of people like to, wait, I need water. I know a lot of people like to, um, what's the word? They like to like order their fabrics online, which is valid because there's like more options sometimes and not every, like it's easier than having to like keep going to all these different fabric stores because it can be tiring. Like my arm was literally about to fall off as i was like walking back to the train i was like bro i need to get home but i do want to try to find like some good online fabric stores too because some of them you can also have them ship your fabric to you um what am i saying ship swatches to you and fabric swatches are just like little like samples of the fabrics so then you can like feel it because that's very important as a designer for you to be able to feel what fabrics you're about to use before you buy them because it's like I'm not about to buy this like blindly <laughs> so yeah and I'm also in the process of like building myself a swatch book because I should have been doing this and I sort of was but I wasn't doing it correctly <laughs> so I'm gonna correctly build myself a swatch book so that I can have like a book to always go back and see where I got a swatch from, how much it is, or at least so I can estimate how much it will be, and like know like the fibers that are in the fabric. So that's all I have right now for fabric. Um, my next steps moving forward will be me making the patterns. So I'll probably do like shorts around, like YouTube shorts around like how I make the pattern for the dress and everything and like that little thing, or that kind of thing. Um, and then from there, I'll be making the sample, and then I'll be making the final dress. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, the next video, I think... I will keep you guys posted on what I think the next video will be about. So definitely stay in touch with me on TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Instagram, because I'll probably post reels and stuff like that talking about what video is going to be next um like long form video is going to be next so yeah look out for that